good did it feel to be back on the ice, smiling and having a good hockey time again? Yeah, it's it's definitely fun. You know, it's been been almost six weeks since uh, you know I've been been with the team, so it was definitely fun. And after uh, you know the times I've had lately, it's uh, it's obviously great to be around these guys, and um, it was it was definitely fun. How are you? How are you doing? It's a difficult time for the family, for sure. Can you just say how you're feeling and what you've been through here in the last few weeks? Um, yeah. Well, now it's, it's kind of hard to say. You know, it's been it's definitely been the hardest time of, of my life, for sure. Um, it's been difficult dealing with it, and uh, I'm still, you know, going through it. It's still, still, uh, you know, in, in my mind quite a bit, but. Uh, I mean, this helps being being here and have at least something to do during the day and uh, something to uh, you know look uh, look forward to. And uh, this is definitely something. And, and was having the injury a, in a way a blessing in disguise, and that it gave you some time to go home and just be with your family and take the time that you needed. Whereas maybe if you were 100% healthy and playing, there'd be pressure to come back. And yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely helps that. I was injured anyway, so I wasn't wasn't playing. So it definitely, uh, it was well. It's not not a good thing that you have to go home during the season. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, in these circumstances, I think it was good that I was injured, so I'm I'm not missing any games anyways. Um, so I think it was a good thing. Yeah. How's your extended family? I, I know you had a, a bunch of people here in Columbus, or not here in Columbus, but back in Columbus. For a while, you've gotten to spend a lot of time with them. How's how's everyone sort of going forward with this? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been it's been tough tough for all of us, and uh, I can't can't really speak off behalf of anyone else than myself. But uh, I I know for a fact, you know, they've <clears throat> they've uh, had a really really tough couple of weeks, uh, like like I have. But I mean, you just gotta gotta find ways to deal with it and um, just. Think of uh, you know the mem all the good good stuff and the memories and stuff like that and um, you know just I think everybody just misses him so I think that's just uh, mainly on everybody's mind. How, how comforting was being welcomed back in by your teammates? Yeah, I, I mean it's always great. You know these guys have been been great by uh, you know supporting me and my family and uh, so it's it's always nice to nice to come back here and. Uh, you know, with open arms and uh, definitely fun being on the ice with them again. And, uh, just enjoy this process they're doing right now here, and I'll try to support them even when I'm not playing. And um, yeah, but it was it was cool. Patrick, what can you say about your father and the impact he had on you as a person, as a player, just your ability to pursue your career? Yeah, I mean, he's you know been my. Um, been my number one fan and supporter always. Um, not that uh, you know my mom and sister and everyone else hasn't hasn't been, but you know he's. I think hockey was just kind of our our, our thing and our passion, and um, you know I definitely wouldn't be here without him. And um, um, yeah, he he always watched my games uh, ever since I was a kid. Even though he always wakes up at night to watch my games and. Um, so it's it's definitely tough, and um, you know losing losing my best friend, it's it's tough. But so he's getting up at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, every every single game for for as yeah. long as I've been here. Yeah. So that's that's how much he loved the game, loved watching me play, and um, how how I was doing.